What you driving here, bro? Uh, the cheat code, the C9. It's not fair. What's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Another episode of Apex Vision TV. We are doing Sim Saturday. About to do some GCE driving. Josh is breaking in this, uh, doing a seat trial. Stay tuned. Guys, GTE on Automobilista 2, my favorite modern GT class. I know GT3 gets all the attention these days, rightfully so because so many makers are in that class. But what originally attracted me to GTE was the lack of assist and the works team's nature of it. Meaning, there aren't a you can't just buy a car. Corvette had to pick you. Porsche had to pick you. Um, with that being said. There's gonna be more GTE cars coming to the game, more Le Mans content. But for now, we got M8, 911 RSR, and C8R. We are going to go to Suzuka Raceway. Uh, probably 20 minutes a piece, and we're gonna rank them. Hopefully we don't uh, agree this time, because that was the first time, that'll probably be the last time that we agree on cars. But uh, it's only three. If they do add more later, um, we'll, we'll have to do it again.
C8R out the way. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a really good car. It's on rails, you know, especially for a car with no assist. I feel like it's on rails, however. And, like, T5 or T6 of this track, I kept dying because I didn't have the brake bias set. And uh, Jordan and David took off from there, so... Yeah, these cars without assist are very touchy. So I will say that a lot of the times when I'm like on the brake just a little too much, like like you you can you can tell they're just very touchy. They slide a little bit more just because I ain't got nothing. <laughs> I have no assist. I, I would definitely say driving GTE requires like by the books yeah, driving because. There were a couple accidents. I know you wouldn't have had them in the GT3. Oh, there's no way. But with no that way. out the way, um, we're just keeping it kind of short and sweet. We're gonna go ahead and move into M8 next. Okay, yep, yeah, M8. <laughs> Are a little bit better in this car for me, um, just just to me. But um, first impressions of the car, it's 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 a good car, but it gets a little too crazy for me. Um, you all, on some but of the you went faster in this too. What did I do in this one? Forty-seven nine, you did forty-eight. Oh yeah, <laughs> my original lap. That's right. Um, that's true. Keep it short. Keep it sweet. Next yeah. car. Next car.
the Corvette will have that advantage over it, but walking, walking win, gotta get at the edge. I think even at the edge. Well, those are, those are tight tracks. That's true. Laguna is a tight. You think uh, maybe Spa, the Corvette will take it? Yeah. I, so good. <laughs> yeah, so. Like, that, even breaking. Like, I'm breaking. The, I think I was breaking at the, the, the 100. I think I can break at the 50 and not lock up. Yeah, that horse is a good one. Yeah, it's great. It, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> like, David started driving and he was like, this is the one. This is the one. This is the one. Yeah. Um, Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the video from here. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, comment down below your favorite GTE car that isn't in this game, so I know you made it to the end of the video. That being said, um, AMS2 with the GTE cars is, a, I'm really, this game is really growing on me. Um, ranking, I think we're gonna agree again, which is weird, because that never happens. Uh, pretty, pretty easy wrap up for number one being uh, RSR. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, I got C8R at number two. I'm gonna force him to put the M8 at number two. I was gonna say, I'll, I'll put the BMW at number two since I went better time. Yeah, it. he went faster with it. Um, short wrap up of each car. The RSR, you could feel the lower center of gravity. Yeah, for sure. The high revving nature of it just worked. Um, and I didn't lock up in it in the rear end. It was it was it was just yeah. the best. Yeah, absolutely. And that's um, that's without touching the brake bias on it too, to where I kind of like it. But um, I, yeah, I agree with you. It, it's a really good car. Uh, I didn't spin out a lot, not at all. Excuse me. The braking was good. The turning felt fantastic. That's weird. The turning <laughs> felt fantastic. <laughs> This video has been a struggle today, guys. Really yes. <laughs> Strugglebus.com. Anyway. With that being said, um, make sure to subscribe and uh, <laughs> let us know what you want to see next, okay, guys? <laughs> We're going to go. Before we close out, uh, BMW, what we got What, did, what we got to say about that? You got the BMW at 2. 
Uh, it's, it's a good card, man. Um, I feel like the brakes were a little better for me than C8. Uh, again, didn't really test the brake bias, but I feel like it, it felt better. Um, the C8, I had a hard time adjusting the C8, man. Yeah. I need more to see time than the C8. Uh, you, what you guys don't see is off camera. Yeah, I, I think I spun five times in the same corner. So, <laughs> it's kind of making me mad, I'm not going to lie. But other than that, um, it's still a good car. So, I got the Vet at 2, but with that being said, the, the M8, you could definitely feel the front engine nature of it. It was a lot of oversteer. I actually had like a wild save, but I felt like I was just losing so much time because of the oversteer. Yeah. Um, C8 was just as... It I think was, the C8's more touching, man. It, it's funny because like, I, the C8, I was laughing at like, I didn't have any trouble really, but ultimately he went faster. So, video is going to end, and I'm going to get back in that C8. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, but that being said, we'll go ahead and wrap up the video here. Um, don't forget to check out his YouTube page. Um, it's okay. Where we'll link, I'll link it. Yeah. Put your handle yeah, in sure, there. Sure. And then, um, like, comment, subscribe. Again, comment your favorite GCE car. Um, Apex out. Peace.